Today in this video, we're gonna talk about a little bit of a secret job that we did. We wanna see if you can figure this job out. And maybe we'll tell you what it was. And maybe we won't. And this job basically took us all over the United States to some crazy, great, and not so great places. Let's see if you can figure it out. Definitely a hell of a way to travel during the pandemic because it was during the pandemic. This is actually a long overdue video. It's from this past summer before we moved here to La Rioja, Spain. But it's so worth sharing because the United States is huge, as you know, and like Tony said, there was a lot to see. Look down there. Oh, you got me big on my nose, babe. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very exciting video because it's a dream of so many people, even to Americans themselves, to take yeah. some sort of vehicle across the country. Ah, hold your breath! Terrifying. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Hold your breath! You're going to be blown away by all of the different landscapes and cool different cities that we saw because it changes quite a bit. Show does, you ready? Look at that. Wow. Welcome to the hotel, motel, comfort in. All right, guys, it is our first day at the very beginning of this tour. And here we are in Greenville, South Carolina, never been here before, so that's exactly why this is gonna be so awesome. Before heading out, we actually prepared a little bit because we knew that this was going to entail a lot of travel. Okay guys, so we're gonna be on the road for one month. So in order to prepare for that, because not many things to cook with here, we got a goodie box. We didn't want to eat out like every meal. Yeah, I mean, you know like truckers, at least in the United States, have this bad reputation of eating very unhealthily because they're on the road most of the time. Which now I understand why they eat out all the time. It's not, you, you can't cook in a car. And this is the best goodie box I've ever seen. Beef jerky, Nuts. nutty nut butter. So we went to Costco and basically <laughs> balled out and got anything we could possibly think of. <laughs> no BS. Pho, I mean, what else do you want? Granola, quinoa. Roasted garbanzo beans in my mouth. Mm, some cheese and crackers would be good. Mm, you look crazy right now. Are you even looking at the camera? I'm so hungry. <laughs> the training for this secret job that we had took place in Greenville, South Carolina, which is pretty close to where we're from. Being in Greenville was a huge plus, but unfortunately, we very quickly left Greenville and started our journey to the West. The very first location that we had to go to on the secret job was almost as far West as you could go. We had to get to Reno, Nevada. Oh dear God, help us. Wait, we don't have a rear view mirror. I guess that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> All right, so you know what you're doing, right? I hope we're so. We're focused, we're ready. I have to back up. We're gonna die. Help. It took some time to get used to the U-Haul because we both had never driven something oh, goodness. this size. Keep going, I'm watching. There's nothing on your side, right? No. Okay, keep going. Let me turn. You can keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I don't you, feel comfortable. Okay. So. 
Um, it's got a really good turning radius. I, for one, was absolutely petrified at first, especially because it seems that when it was my turn to drive, I kept hitting all of the construction <laughs> path, like parts. And so like we'd get to a part of the road where there was just like this much space and I'm just like, We very quickly became truckers, whether it was finding nice gas stations or scraping bugs off the front of our car. We definitely started to learn the life of a mother trucker. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, yeah. <sighs> Probably on the second day driving towards Reno, we heard this thing turn on, this warning. We're waiting here at this truck stop. Tony went in to grab some diesel exhaust fuel because apparently, this is a fun fact, you know, you learn something new all the time. Truckers are required to use this liquid that basically makes the air quality, I guess, better. It's better for the environment and by law, they have to have it in. And if they don't, as soon as it runs out, our truck, our truck would stop running. Diesel exhaust fluid, baby. Actually, during this time, you remember there was wildfires also. By the way, I just heard out, I heard that there are wildfires in Colorado, Nevada, and California. Oh no. That's why it's so smoky here. So. What's that gonna do for our trip? I don't know. She was not very positive about it. She says they keep shutting the highways down <gasps> more and more towards this. So. Well, for now, we're prepped. But we started to learn, you know, little by little, we really did become some professional truck drivers. Yep. And we really inched our way closer to our destination. But before getting to Reno, Nevada, we actually went through a city neither one of us had visited mm. that was so cool. Sounds like Narnia. We are entering. Salt Lake City, Utah. We actually picked up dinner there. We pulled into oh, we Salt did. Lake City. I forgot about that. Yeah. Just to pick up some delicious burritos. What was it? Oh, it was like a burrito bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we're obsessed with Chipotle. And yeah, we just needed to get it. <laughs> did you know that it was actually a Salt Lake? No, I feel dumb for not ever thinking that the name had something to do with it. But you know, sometimes things have names. I'm sure you can think of something that has a name and it has nothing to do with the thing or the place. But yes, Salt Lake City is not an example of one of those things. There was salt fields like everywhere, Huge. which I didn't know. You know, when I think salt fields, I think of like places like Bolivia or Chile or a place like this. I didn't know it was in our country. Salt Lake at night, and our destination was a town called Elko. This is definitely like a gold dress. Look. <laughs> yeah. How cool. 
But it was here that we learned something really special, and that is Nevada specifically, and that area there, has a lot of Basque heritage. Fortunately, we woke up from there and didn't have to drive too far to get to Reno, Nevada. Because we did so good with driving, we had a day to spend exploring a little bit of Reno as well. What you doing? I'm washing my hands before I enter the store, because it's COVID times, man. It's 2020. Here at... Junkie. The Junkie. Place we ate. Oh, we just opened. Anastaqueria. Oh, Anastaqueria, dude. So good. Some of the best tacos I've ever had. So if you're in Reno or you're from Reno and you haven't been to Anastaqueria yet, you're missing out. Delicious. Go eat there. But, anyways, we've gotten a little bit off track. Before exploring a little bit, we did check into our hotel. That's when it all changed. The moment we checked in, to the Sands Regency Casino Hotel. The moments entering this casino just psh, smacked with cigarette smoke. We would wake up to go to work at like 6 a.m. We'd leave the hotel and pass all of these people who I'm pretty sure had been there all night since the day before playing the games and we're looking at each other like, Dude, it was like a live version of Black Mirror, you know, the show on Netflix, because you'd see these people and they're just like glued to the, the slot <laughs> machines and they're just like, bring, bring. <laughs> we quickly got used to this, you know, it's just where we were sleeping, right? And what we did upon first arrival. <laughs> right there and Lake Tahoe for someone from the East Coast is something you always hear about but don't even really understand what it is well now we do the lake is huge yeah. it can almost be classified as a sea I don't even know what makes the difference well I guess fresh water and salt water yeah, we, we know that. <laughs> one of the days we thought we'd treat ourselves we were working real hard <coughs> Yeah, the job was pretty tough. So like when we got done, we didn't want to eat protein bars. We wanted <laughs> to have a meal. So we knew that this Bosque uh, heritage was all around here. So we, we know the Bosque people know how to eat. <laughs> Despite the Bosque food and the wonderful casino hotel, we were happy to be done with Reno and make it to our next destination. So we left on Friday night so we could gain as much time as possible, right? Because whenever we got there, that means the time that was left over until Monday was ours. Yeah. through a lot of nothingness, but a beautiful nothingness. Yeah. Once we were getting closer and closer to Montana, and when we were in Montana, the two or three hours before arriving to Missoula, we were just following a river. Beautiful. Just following a river. It was actually part of the Lewis and Clark Trail. Yes. Which was really wild to kind of drive where they, these people walked. And I mean, it's it's an unforgiving environment. It's, it's tough. Yeah. Missoula was a great place to arrive early to because it had a lot of nature. Mm -hmm. It had some good food. The weather was great when we got there. That's true. That's true. And it's just a small town. Uh, Montana in general, I think it's... Missoula is the second biggest city yeah. and it only has like a hundred thousand people or something. Right, right. So Tony and I have this tradition where anytime we travel throughout the United States in each state we get 
a scratch off card. We've actually done it out of the country too, but. Not in each state though, because that'd be a lot, because then we would end up having like. Well, when we get the already. chance. When we get the chance. No, like so, when we go on a new vacation or. Yeah. We're looking for number seven through 77. One, 48, 43, eight. <gasps> we got a seven. <gasps> we won $5 at least. That probably means that's the only thing we won. But hey, we won our money back. $5? Five $5. Five 23, 40. 23 is my lucky number, so. 236, 46. All right, well, we won $5. That's something. $5 Sunday. So the first day we got to take advantage of this beautiful weather and we kind of went and got some breakfast burritos. Ooh, yes, at this place called Taco Sano. Taco Sano. Like, what's with us in Mexican food? <laughs> yeah. I feel like all we're telling you is Mexican food. <laughs> we sat down, ate them, enjoyed it, soaked up some sun. All right, y'all, so we've got some scooters with us and we're gonna check out the city. And so we came upon the university that's in Missoula. And as we're in there, we see this big old mountain right. with yeah. an M on it. And, and we I look at you, and you look at me. <laughs> and we see these little ant people going up <laughs> the mountain. So we were like, hell yeah, let's do it. It's like, why not? I mean, we really don't know if we'll ever go back to Missoula. As much as I'd love Probably to. Probably not. But our time in Missoula passed very quickly. It was a better working week than in Reno. For sure. Yeah, better weather and everything. We weren't dealing with the forest fires as much. And yeah. It's so vibe. again, we left the day that the last job we had finished and we drove into the night and we ended up staying in the capital of Montana at a very strange, oh my God. creepy place. So we slept there and the next day we bounced. We were excited too to get out of there because we had a cool day planned and that was two crazy things that you must see as an American. And then we also made our way to another very, very, very famous monument of the United States, which is Mount Rushmore. Mm -hmm. Put your hands up. <laughs> Take your shirt off, swing it around your head like a helicopter, North Carolina. <laughs> dun, da, da, da. Da, da, dun, 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 dun. After all of those things, we started noticing like these weird looking cows. And then we knew where we were geographically, so we're like, wait. Maybe it's buffalo or, or bison because we don't know the difference. Or buffalison. <laughs> so if you know the difference, please tell us what are these animals. Buffalison. Buffalison. Yeah. Let's go to the freaking people out here. I mean, yeah, we really don't know how to turn anyone to eat anything that's up here. Get 
truckers. One of them was truckers. We're truckers now. Mother trucker. We had, at this point, driven through lots of states. Let me tell you, none of them were as bad as South Dakota. <sighs> South Dakota, I don't want to say bad because it had some nice things, but I would never want to live there, nor would I wish it upon anybody. <laughs> it's just a whole lot of nothing. And then we finally arrived to Sioux Falls, which is where we were going to be working in that week. And it was just, the city was not very nice or cool or anything. They didn't have a Chipotle, if that tells you anything. <laughs> I mean... Something it did have on the pro side is that it seemed relatively diverse, which was nice. Yeah. But yeah, there was there just wasn't much going on. So we just had a few days of work there and then it was just time to head out. And once again, we were a little happy to head out. We were making our way to Hooten. Hooten. <laughs> Michigan, which we didn't even know was it existed. Hooten? But along the way, we actually got to stay at a cool place in Wisconsin. A cool oh, little city. yeah, lacrosse. Never would have known about it if we didn't pass through it. We genuinely enjoyed this town. We ended up eating at this restaurant that was a little overpriced, but we really wanted to try something that we always heard about in Wisconsin is cheese curds. When in Wisconsin, what are you about to try? All right, so this is what a cheese curd looks like when you fry it, which is apparently the top of making cheese, the top layer. Tell us how it tastes. Very mm. good. We were happy. This place was really nice. Lacrosse, I would go back to lacrosse. Totally. I would go back to lacrosse. So, Houghton, which I thought from the beginning was Houghton, Houghton. Um, is in Michigan, right? And I feel a little silly because I never knew that Michigan is separated into two different parts. So there's what they call UP or Upper Peninsula, and it's just this little part that has... It's like, part of the Great Lakes on both sides. It's like a finger. And then there's the other part of Michigan. And I just had no idea. I had no idea Michigan was basically two different states. And on the way there, we started to see how different it was than the surrounding areas. Oh my gosh. So we chose to stop and because I saw these like little shack places that mm. I thought, hmm, you know, these places are probably going to have some good homemade food out here. So we stopped at this little shack place to eat, thinking we're gonna get the best meal ever, like home cooked. As we're walking in the door, I see something on the wall. Yeah, and that to me was just so different. I mean, I don't know anybody who hunts bears. Right. So as you can imagine, where we're at is very backwoods, very country, very rural. What was craziest to me is our waiter was this young girl who was really nice, but when we started talking to her about the bear thing, trying to understand, she's like, yeah, we all hunt bears. We're yeah, she's like, bear jerky, it's really good. And I was like, wow, you've tried bear? And then she goes on to mention to us, somehow this came out, we don't remember. We, no, I remember, oh, it's because me. I asked her, I was like, so where do you get bear meat? Like, where can we try some bear jerky? And she was saying that she always got it because her, she would go out hunting with her grandfather. And then she said, well, my uncle. And then she's like, well, ah, same thing, really. <laughs> so she said her grandpa and uncle are the same thing. I don't know if that was, you know, I, we're clearly probably just reading into it too much. but I don't know. But we spent a lot of time kind of driving up and down around the lake trying to find a hotel. <laughs> and as we were searching for a hotel, we saw a little stand that was advertising pasties. Pasties? pasties? We don't know. If you know, please tell us what the difference is or is what or the pasty? proper pronunciation is. Better be something good. Does it look good? This is an American empanada, is what it is. Oh my god, that is totally an empanada. Jesus, that's fat. Yeah. 
So in this town, we actually stayed in an old bank that someone advertised on Airbnb. And it was the cheapest thing in town because yeah. it was kind of expensive up there. There's kind of two towns in one. So there's Hooten and then across the river, you've got Hancock. And so this hotel was called the Bank Hotel. And like Tony said, it, he had totally converted it. And it was sort of a hostel, which is really not typical in the United States. So we had our room, but we were sharing our kitchen with yeah. like, um, the host who was living there at the time. Host of the year award <laughs> goes to Mark. We're going to put the opposite of the bad review. We're going to say he opened our bottle of wine. Oh, my God. We might have to keep this cork. Oh! Wow. That was, wow, uh, impressive. <laughs> you're going to you're gonna have to take a bow hey. for that. <laughs> that was awesome. Spot on. Hell yeah. That was Spot awesome. On, <laughs> See ya. This whole time we were working so much that one of our favorite parts about traveling in the first place is that, is talking to the people there and yeah. getting to know them. So that, that was, I liked being there. Yeah. And the host was super nice. Thanks. satisfied that we worked really hard and made it was a good day that was the end of our secret mission yeah our secret job so what were we doing <laughs> yeah what were we doing any guesses <laughs> ready to go back home where's home what home, what home? yeah what what indianapolis happened to be on our way home which is where one of my friends one of my best friends henry lives and I'd never been to Indianapolis. He'd never been in Na nope. Indianapolis. So that was cool too. And my friend, I hadn't seen him in like two or three years. So we made our way there. We spent the night with Henry and his roommate Buck at the time. And we got to see Indianapolis. We also ate tacos in Indianapolis. Damn it. <laughs> he took us to a nice taco place and we just hung out. Yeah, that was you know? cool. That was a good way to finish. Yeah, that was an amazing way to finish. And the next day we drove the rest of the way to Greenville. Back to Greenville, where Full circle. our base was. And my dad came. We saw a little bit of Greenville with him. We went home and like two, three days later, we drove to Washington, D.C. to get on a plane to come here. And now we're making this video. <laughs> now we're making this video. <laughs> From here where we came. Yeah, next time we'll have to show you a little bit more about where we're at now because that's super cool and very different than everything we just told you. Whew. So. What a journey. We've been to real boss country now. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Um, definitely correct us on all the things we don't know in the comments. Uh, and for those of you who are looking to get your English a little bit better and improved, don't forget to check out www.tumbit.com where we've got all sorts of things to help you out with that. Watch that clearance. And we're at the good old McDonald's. Good morning. <laughs> on the road again. Where are we going, baby? Can't wait to get back on the road again. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs>